If we want to take a look at RootTrader's predictive analytics models within finance boards, we can do that by clicking on the investing button. So RootTrader's predictive analytics model has one constraint. Find screeners that pick stocks that outperform the S&P 500. Once the RootTrader engine has determined that a screener can pick stocks that outperform the S&P, it assigns that screener a weighting from 0 to 100. And then these weighted screeners are used to come up with a ranking of over 4,000 stocks, and th their weights are updated every day. So now we can see just up here the date, and down here we see a bunch of screeners. And you notice each of them have nodes. However, the larger the node is, we see the larger the node is, the higher the weight that is being contributed by that screener. And their specific weight can actually be seen in parentheses next to each. So we can see that in general, this is, this is just a tree of, in, of investing models. And they all spread out from the general woo. And so this is the, this is how the models flow. So they go from a, it goes from a screener to a model, which is just a combination of screeners, and then to a category, which is just a combination of models. And then all that is used to come up with a general ranking. Within these screeners, we can see that some of them perform better regardless of industry. So it would be black, while others perform better when picking stocks within the same industry. So in this case, we can see that, let's say, company fundamentals, they have a lot of red screeners. But when we look at, let's say, like forward prices and option break-evens, they, they work regardless of industry. A slight surprise, actually, would be looking, when we look at the technical analysis, we would assume that it doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't depend on the industry. But we can see that actually quite a few of the screeners are red. So for example, the slow stochastics, the check in volatility. So we can see that those are just accepted by the market differently depending on the industry. Uh, as of right now, we can see that the options category is the best predictor for growing stocks. So if we go down here, we can we'll actually be able to see the history of each of these categories and their performance. So we can let's say, oh, last summer, what what, what was performing? Which categories were performing? And the same thing during the winter, whatever time we want. So if we're interested in actually looking at a specific date, we can just click on the date, and it'll update the chart up there. So you can see, oh, when would Trader just started off? January 9th, or January 15th, sorry. You can see that there are much fewer just screeners and models, and that they were all ranked globally without taking into account the industry differences. But if we move into a more recent time, like let's say last summer, we see more screeners and categories than that now that they are dependent and dependent by industry. If you want even more detail, we can see the exact same thing, but for each of the models and their performance. We can take a look actually we can take a look at the longevity of each of these models. So now once that let's say the website SEO model came to effect, uh, it's been performing for statically for and very well for a long period of time. When we look at, let's say, volatility, it's kind of been on and off in its performance.